So today's hair is sponsored by Hair and Beauty, and it came in this pink box. So I'm going to take the wig out first, and I got some lashes. Those are really cute. A hair bow, and also got some wig caps. And now I'm going to take it out of the package. It is 24 inches. See, so yeah, I pop it out the bag. You can see the length right there, 24. And here it is. It is a deep wave lace frontal wig and it also is a HD lace. So I'm very excited about this HD and this is what it's looking like, the construction of it and all of that. So this is after bleaching the knots. I do have a video on how I customize my lace. If you want to know how to bleach, pluck, and tint, I have a video on that. But yeah, I'm going to put it on so we can see what we are working with. And you can just see how transparent this lace is because you can see my wig cap. I am going to go back in and put some foundation on the cap so that it's not visible or you can do the ball cap method. But yeah, I'm very excited again because it is a HD lace. I haven't had one of these in a while, so. So I'm using a even wax stick. It was like $2, maybe $3 after tax. But yeah, check your local beauty supply store. They might carry it. Most of them do carry the even products and all their products are pretty good and they're affordable. One of my favorite parts is using the hot comb because it really gets it together. Now I'm only going to do the edges because it is curly or deep wave hair and I don't want to press out the curls. I just want to do the edges and just push it back. And you can really see the hairline right now when you do this and it'll also just be better. It'll look better once you glue it down. It'll also keep the hair back and out of your face. So today I'm not using my hair dye spray, I'm just using my contour powder and I'm going to apply it right on top of the lace. So yeah, I'm not applying it under, I'm applying it on top. It really doesn't matter, either way works, either way is effective. I just like to show different ways and different methods of how you can do things. You don't always have to do it one way. There's so many different ways that work the same. So I'm pretty sure at this point, I went ahead and applied some makeup on my wig cap so that it's not visible because you cannot see it as I'm parting. So I'm going back to got to be glued. I still have my bedhead spray and I also have my bold hole lace glue, but for some reason I wanted to use got to be glued. I guess because I haven't used it in a while, so I picked it back up. And that's what I'm using to lay this lace and I'm just going to spray it going across the hairline. I like to spray on top instead of underneath. I don't know why. I just feel like it works better for me this way. So yes. So 
So I tied that down so it can dry. And now I want to do a side part. I haven't done a side part in a while. I feel like I mostly do only middle parts. So I'm doing a side. So I'm just going to take my comb and try to get a nice straight part. So I'm going to pull out the wax stick and the hot comb once again because I want to lay my part really nice and flat. Doing this really does make a difference because sometimes you just have those stubborn hairs that don't want to stay in place and this is just a really good way to get it to lay the way that you want it to lay. Okay, a nice, another little up close visual of what she is looking like. So yeah, it's pretty much dry. The spray has dried and it's looking very natural already. And of course it's deep wave. So I'm going to spray it down with some water. And I also use leave-in conditioner. I've been using that a lot lately instead of like my styling foam. But either one works, but yeah, that's all that I'm doing. So I would like to say that the hair was fairly easy to work with. I bleached the knots. The knots bleached really well. I didn't have a problem with that. I also plucked this hairline, but I didn't do a lot of plucking because the hairline wasn't super thick or dense. So that was another thing. And then, like I said, I just used powder on the lace and that was good enough to tint it because this lace still blended and laid really well. And also the curls are just gorgeous, especially when they're wet. So I think this hair pretty much speaks for itself. You can see, like before I even cut the lace, it just already looks so good and just the hairline looks natural. So I would definitely recommend all the details and information will be listed down below. So make sure you hit that drop down arrow so you can check it out and get the links. Like this video, comment down below, give me a thumbs up, sub to my channel if you're not already, and I will catch you guys in the next one.